next month, and I just kind of wanted to see how the the uh, process goes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is, I, I'm a newbie at this, so uh, my name's Everett Snowberger, and okay. so if it, if it if it falls flat on its face, it's all my my fault. Hey, yeah. that's quite that's quite all right. Okay. And Gloria, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. All right, good. Okay, deal. great, great, great. Uh, Gloria, are yeah. you going to try to record it? Uh, What's that? Do what? Are you going to try to record it, or do you want me to? Um, I don't know if I can. Let me see. There's an option at the bottom next to reactions and chat that says record. I've never recorded before, but I'll go ahead and just give it a shot as well. Cameron, I've done this for our meetings. Um, I always do record to the local computer and it gives you an audio and video file of the meeting. Okay, thank you. Cameron, have you heard from Steve May? I just texted him and he is not on yet, but I'm assuming he's getting ready here. All right, good deal. Okay. Uh, Cameron, did you uh, you catch that I had talked to Penny Robinson, and the last time I spoke to her, which was probably about an hour ago, she said Jeff was still on a job site and did not know whether he would be joining the meeting or not. Okay. You know, so I'm uh, just giving you a heads up. I made sure he had all the information and everything need, needed to get on the uh, on the call. Okay. And and if you wanted the video, I walk Penny through how to get on. So, uh, you know, I've done all we can do. Yeah, we got his uh, county email up and running today. So. Okay. All righty. <clears throat> well, we're getting close. We're about three minutes away. No, Debbie, no quorum until Steve gets on. Do we have the option of meeting ourselves? Is yes. What? We'll, yep. we'll, or, are you on? Are you on your phone or the computer? Both. Um, if you just tap your picture, the the mute sign will come up. Gotcha. I was having trouble because I was trying to mute my phone from my computer. It won't allow me to do that, but I can do it from my phone. Thank you. Yes, yeah, this, this is probably only about the third Zoom call that, that I've been on. My wife uses it every day, but um, we've started the negotiations about a month ago for the, the department here, and we've had a couple on it, and then a couple small group meetings, and so it's pretty interesting. So it works. It does. This is a good application. Well, Michael, uh, this is Everett. I've done. Uh, Webex meetings for probably close to 15 years now, and uh, uh, <clears throat> you know the uh, I'm on a committee in Canada, you know Transport Canada Dangerous Goods, and uh, consequently, uh, uh, many times the meetings are either at, uh, clear on the western part of Canada, and, and uh, travel expenses are a little bit prohibitive, or weather prohibits travel so you just get on the uh, on the conference call and you can it's just like you're being in the meeting except uh, in that instance all you get on Webex all you do is get to see your uh, uh, the screen of the host and uh, but you can type in your messages back and forth to the host or or to other participants similar to what you can do here so okay. uh, let's see <clears throat> two more two more we have Steve May and Ann Cripe. Steve, are you there? Steve May, can you hear us?
said no. I've hit the unmute all, so consequently. Ann Cripe, are you there? I'm going to have Steve call in as well. He said he's had his volume all the way up and still nothing. Okay. Okay. I'm here now. I can hear now. Hello. Oh, good. <clears throat> Great, Steve. Glad to hear you're here. Yep. So it gives us a quorum. Yep. Yeah. So, so we're good to go. Uh, let's see. Sarah Abbott, can you hear us? Sarah Abbott, can you hear us? I think the issue is some of these laptops, the older ones don't have built-in microphones, so yeah. hopefully they can still, but everybody should have the option to comment in. Says Sarah Abbott is not in the meeting. Anybody know her? No. No. Uh, I, I don't see her on here any longer. No, I don't either. <clears throat> okay, Ann Cripe. Let's see if I can get near her admitted.
Steve, did you just get out of the fields today? No, we're still in. I just stepped away. Appreciate that. Yes. <laughs> Probably get a break tomorrow anyway with the weather coming in. Yeah. Unfortunately. Can we go ahead and get the meeting started? He's muted now, Teresa, so I don't know who he's talking to. Okay. <laughs> Ready to go, ever? Yeah, I think we are. Okay. Yeah, let's do. Okay. Let's get started. We're going to call the the uh, uh, board of zoning appeals meeting to order, and uh, <clears throat> the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go through. I'm going to cover a little bit about how we're going to conduct the meeting. You know, since uh, since we're doing this online, we ask that people speak only when they've been recognized and. Uh, what we'll do is we'll introduce the uh, the board members, uh, staff, et cetera. And uh, I think I've got everybody on here that uh, is participating. I've got, got them. Uh, and then uh, <clears throat> what we'll do is uh, uh, when someone wishes to, when we have allow someone to speak, I'll recognize them. They'll have the floor. They'll be uh, permitted to speak. We, we ask that uh, the address comments and, and uh, uh, information concerning the, uh, the, the items at issue and, uh, and not go off into some other topic or whatever. Uh, you know, the other thing is uh, uh, we will uh, do roll, or the votes will all be via roll call. So each member will have to vote uh, either yes in favor or no against or abstain you know, and any, uh, any motions and, uh, <clears throat> and then, uh, that'll give us a, a firm recognition of who, uh, who voted and how they voted so we can keep track of the count. Uh, <clears throat> we'll follow the, uh, the general bylaws of the, uh, of the, uh, board of zoning appeals, except we're going to do modifications, slight modifications to permit us to do us, do this online. And, uh, <clears throat> You know, we'll be following uh, uh, all the issues. Uh, the other thing, uh, uh, well, I think the first thing is we'll we'll start off with the uh, with the uh, roll call of members. So, uh, Steve May, do you want to indicate who you represent? Yeah, my name's Steve May. I'm uh, representing the schools, superintendents in the county. Teresa Maxwell. I'm Teresa Maxwell. I was appointed by the commissioners. Uh, Jeff Watson, are you on the call? He is not. And my name is Everett Snowberger. I represent town of Camden. Uh, Cameron Yates. Cameron Yates, uh, area plan executive director. Uh, Cindy Harmon. Cindy Harmon, APC and BZA legal counsel. Okay, uh, Shane Evans, uh, your your active participation in this meeting. Yes, sir. Shane Evans, Mayor, City of Delphi, and petitioner. Okay, Debbie Lowe. Uh, she she indicates she is here. She is here. Okay, uh, Gloria. Area Plan Administrative Assistant. Okay. And Ann Cripe, can you hear us? She may not be able to hear. Uh, Sarah Abbott. Okay. 
Is there anyone else who's not been right, called? She can hear, but she cannot be heard for some reason. Did you see that message from her, Herbert? Yeah, I see that from Ann, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. She can hear us, but she cannot be heard for some reason. She would have to turn on her computer audio. Maybe she doesn't have that. Okay. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> All right, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with our agenda. The first item on the agenda is uh, uh, we've done roll call meeting minutes, and uh, we don't have minutes uh, from the previous meeting. So unless there's some objection, we'll skip those till we have a uh, have a uh, uh, in-person meeting. Anyone object to that? No, that's uh, Next, uh, next item on the uh, on the agenda would be election of officers, and uh, you know our bylaws say that we're supposed to elect officers at the first meeting of the year. We do have a quorum, so we can uh, can conduct an election. So, uh, I would first order of business. I would open the floor for nominations for uh, chair of the board of zoning appeals. I nominate Everett Snowberger. I'll second the Steve May. Okay, motion's been made and seconded. Any other nominations for chair? I move the nominations be closed. Second. Nominations have been moved, you know, set, moved and seconded to be closed. So uh, I guess the next order of business would be to, to vote. Uh, Steve, how would how vote you? Do you vote I or yay or, or yes or no? Yes. And Teresa? Yes. Okay. Uh, that, that gives us two two uh, in favor, you know, and uh, I I will vote yes, so that gives us three, it gives us a quorum we'll, and uh, that would make me the the chair for the next year. Uh, do I open the nominations for the uh, uh, Vice Chair. I'd like to nominate Teresa Maxwell. I would second that nomination. I do my... Okay. <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Teresa? I was going to nominate Steve. <laughs> you didn't do it fast enough. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Are you okay with it, Teresa? Yes, I am okay with it. Okay. All right. Uh, do I hear a motion to close the nominations? Yes, so moved. And I'll second that. So, in call the question, all in favor? Or well, Steve, uh, yeah, vote yes or no for Teresa for uh, vice chair. Yes. yes. Uh, Everett Snowberger, I vote yes. Teresa. Yes, I will vote yes. <laughs> okay. So you're you're officially the vice chair, uh, Cameron. What other offices do you we have off the top of your head? Do you, do you remember? That's it. That's it for BZA. Yeah. That's it for BZA. Okay. So that uh, that concludes the election of officers, and uh, so the uh, next item on the agenda is the special exception for the Delphi water tower, or I guess it'd be water tank and and pumping station and uh, Cindy, I would like for you to, if you could comment on what uh, we found in the uh, in the Delphi zoning ordinance today. <laughs> okay, there was a little bit of confusion earlier today because looking at the Delphi zoning ordinance, which I had not paid much attention to this section, but uh, there is. Page here. I think it's page 40. Yeah. Yeah. On, page, on page 40 in the Delphi City Ordinance, the Zoning Ordinance, Article 7 is, is listed as Board of Zoning Appeals. And it talks about 
by state law, there's a Board of Zoning Appeals to be appointed um, and conduct procedures. And then the second section talks about powers and duties. Um, and it's, I'm not sure why this is even in their ordinance because the city does not have a Board of Zoning Appeals. Only the county has a Board of Zoning Appeals because the city has granted the ability to manage the business of the city, zoning business of the city to the county. And then the, the things that say powers and duties, those don't comport to what state law is. So I think that because state law has precedent over this ordinance because it is more uh, stringent than what this section says. Yeah, uh, you can, counties could, counties or, or local um, entities could make something more stringent, but not less stringent. So I told Everett, I, first of all, I don't know why this is still in here because it doesn't really apply. But second of all, because the city has given the county the ability to handle all of its, um, to, through the through the county BZA to handle all of its uh, special exceptions and variances, then we have to go back to what state law is, which is basically what's in our ordinance, the requirements to grant a special exception. So that's what um, Everett's going to go by today, and we'll have to deal. Uh, we'll talk with the city about maybe just getting rid of that confusion. I don't. I mean, I've been with the organization for quite a while now and I don't know that that ever came up before. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Cindy. Uh, the uh, one thing I want to comment, I think I've been on here somewhere around four to five years and I don't recall doing a special exception for this for anything in the city and during that period of time. But I do remember years ago that the city ordinance mimicked the uh, county ordinance almost word for word, except for a few minor changes. So there's been some kind of a revision at some point in time, but I couldn't tell you when. So um, I just wanted to make sure everybody was aware of that and that, uh, that why we will be following the guidelines of the county ordinance for the special exception rather than what's published in the city ordinance. So the first thing we'll, we'll do is uh, uh, Cameron, you know, uh, we'll be looking at, uh, uh, I'll pull this up on my next screen here. Uh, this is the application for the special exception variance. And do you want to uh, elaborate about uh, uh, postings and, and advertising, et cetera, please? Yes. Um, the special exception was advertised in the uh, Carroll County comment. Uh, I, I think you have a copy of it on your on your PDFs. Uh, and also the sign was put out properly uh, over a month ago. So it's been out there since March 24th. Um, There's a picture of the sign. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So they have done their, their diligence on getting it advertised and putting the sign out there. Okay, fees been paid, correct? Correct. Okay. All right. Um, so we've we've had anything else you need to comment on, Cameron? No. Okay. So fees been paid and uh, signs advertised, uh, advertised in the newspaper as such. Uh, I'll just pull up on the screen. There are some pictures that Cameron has taken of the property and uh, they've been emailed and copied and pasted so it's a little bit on the greeny side uh, this is a uh, screenshot components of uh, google maps you know i'll give them credit for it uh, it shows it in the, in the county uh, the uh, high schools here so just right where my little cursor is should be Industrial Federal Credit Union and the property in question is just to the north of that. Next uh, picture will have a little bit better, a little clearer of it. So in this instance, what we're looking at is this 
area just to the east of the trees and brought over to the existing water tank that's uh, uh, covered by the uh, pictures on my screen. So, so it would be in this general area right here. You know. uh, next picture is uh, kind of at a shot from a uh, distance. Uh, there's the, this line of trees right here, the trees that we saw in the aerial view. And then uh, this is a little further. It shows uh, industrial federal and, and security federal credit unions and then the line of trees. So the area in question is just to the, to the north of the credit union and uh, just behind the tank, which is uh, right behind where my cursor's at. So uh, does anybody have any questions on that? No. No. Okay, so the next would be uh, Mr. Shane Evans. Would you like to present uh, uh, your petition for the special exception, please? Yes, Chairman Snowberger, I appreciate it. If I may, may I ask a question of Cindy regarding procedure? Um, yeah. Since uh, we won't be using the city procedure, um, will we just be using the points the board must consider regarding a variance or special exception? Yes. Okay, that's the only difference? Yes. Okay, and I prepared the uh, application pursuant uh, to those questions. Yes, you, okay. you should have, which was good. That's what state law says. <laughs> good job. <laughs> Great, thank you. Um, so if I may, uh, I have provided this to the Board of Zoning Appeals, um, but I'll go through the project description. Um, we are looking at building a approximate 750,000 gallon ground storage tank. Uh, it would be similar to total L as the existing tank that you can see on that slide, um, it'd be a little skinnier than that tank. There will also be a booster station uh, just to the west of the tank as shown on this slide. Um, I'll go through practical difficulties in constructing a water tower under the current Delphi zoning ordinance. Uh, under the Delphi zoning ordinance, um, water towers are permitted in B1, B2, B3, I1, and I2. Um, as a matter of fact, there's no special exception required. Special exception uh, is required in U1 and U2. Uh, the reason that we selected a U1 parcel for this project is because of the proximity to the existing ground storage tank. Um, part of the reason we're building this um, is to add some redundancy and by having the two tanks in close proximity, it allows us to um, optimally work our water system. It also reduces the amount of piping that we have to add to the system. There is uh, some available business district land uh, by the Hoosier Heartland Highway and US 421. However, it's approximately 2,000 feet away from our existing ground storage tank. Um, and the cost of piping is roughly $300 a one foot. Uh, I didn't do the math, um, but it does cost that up quickly. Um, having the pumps for the booster station right next to the ground storage tank. Um, both ground storage tanks um, is incredibly useful for the city of Delphi. So I will, those are the practical difficulties. Um, I'll move next to the approval will not be injurious to the public health, safety, morals, and general welfare of the community. Um, and it's actually the opposite failure to approve this would be injurious to the public health, safety, morals, and general welfare of the community. Uh, the addition of this ground storage tank and booster station improves the water pressure, it improves fire suppression, uh, it improves the transmission capabilities and adds redundancy to the system. Uh, this water tower uh, ground storage tank uh, supplies water to the high pressure and middle pressure zones um, of which Indiana Packers Corporation, Delphi Community School System, St. Elizabeth Healthcare, uh, are all on those high or low or higher medium pressure zones. Um, failure to construct these new facilities could lead to a loss of pressure, uh, loss in fire suppression, and lose water entirely to the high and middle pressure zone. Move next to the use and value of the area adjacent to the property included in the special exception will not be affected in a substantially ad adverse manner. Um, easiest thing we have going for us is there there's already an existing a ground storage tank directly to the east of the FQ. Uh, the ground storage tank has been there for decades. Um, the subdivision 
uh, there on the west side of US 421 was constructed after um, that ground storage tank had already been existing. Um, the uh, senior citizen housing is aptly named Water Tower Place. Um, and if you uh, has been constructed after the existence um, of the ground storage tank that's already there. If there is any adversarial conditions um, by constructing a new ground storage tank there, uh, I believe that would be mitigated by the work we're going to do on the old ground storage tank. Um, by constructing this new one, we'll be able to take the old one offline and conduct maintenance on that tower. Um, granting of a special exception is necessary for the preservation and enjoyment of a substantial property right possessed by other property owners in the same vicinity and district. Um, we currently own and operate a ground storage tank and booster station in the same vicinity and district. Uh, there's few other public utilities with such facilities in the same vicinity as this project, um, but there are facilities which would require a special exception in the U1 district in the area, including Trilogy Health at 701 Armory Road, North Central Nursing Clinics Incorporated at 651 Armory Road, and Delphi Human Services Facility Incorporated at 901 South Prince William Road. Uh, Water Tower Place may have also been a special exception to two family and multi family dwellings. The granting of a special exception would be a minimal departure from the strict application of the provisions of the Delphi Zoning Ordinance. Uh, granting of the special exception allows the ground storage tank to be constructed within 300 feet of an existing ground storage tank. Public utility uses are allowed as special exceptions under the Delphi Zoning Code so as to ensure the value of the area addition to the property is not affected in a substantially adverse manner. As stated above, this project does not affect the use and value of the area adjacent to the property in a substantially adverse manner. As such, the special exception should be granted. Um, and then I believe the last one you had was the special exception being solved does not essentially alter the character of the surrounding area. Um, and I have the proximity to the existing facility with the similar uh, in structures and appearance ensures this project does not essentially alter the character of the surrounding area as we have ground storage tank and booster station within 300 feet. Thank you very much, Chairman Snowberger. Thank you. <clears throat> Uh, Teresa, do you have any questions? Yes. Um, in looking at this map that is currently on the page, the uh, those are the trees and the driveway through there. Where is IFQ in relation to where they're drawing their the where the current water tower is and where this proposed work is going to be? Where does IFQ sit? So IFQ is a little difficult to see. You can see the grassy area where his cursor is. The building uh, is just, yeah, he's circling it right now. Okay, that's the white area, okay. Yes, I was looking uh, more yes, for, a, for, a, for a building area. So do you do those lines, uh, if that's IFQ's property, do your proposed lines affect any part of IFQ's property? Uh, we are in the process, and it may have actually already been executed uh, for a right of entry onto, it's actually a uh, NIPSCO easement there on the uh, east side of the property. You can see the uh, dashed lines. Uh, NIPSCO has a site for a service gas line in there. Um, so we're securing those easements at the moment. Okay. Uh, Steve? NIPSCO, do you have everything um, settled with if you um we got the right of entry to them yesterday or friday i haven't gotten an update um as of the meeting tonight thank you thank you uh steve do you have any questions i don't think so i went through everything that i got emailed and um it seems pretty clear so i, I don't think that i'm confused on anything at this point. Okay, uh, Shane, this is Everett. I have a, a couple of questions. I believe that where I have the cursor presently is where the uh, existing water storage tank, is that correct? Uh, no, sir, that is the uh, proposed, oh yes, sir, sorry. I have my cursor on the screen as well. So yes, that is the existing ground storage tank. Okay, 
And then is this the booster pump building right here? Uh, let me. Is, let me this, is, is it just is it just west of the tank, or is it? Uh, no, sir. It is just south of the tank. Um, that looks okay. to be uh, Nipsco property there that you're pointing at. Okay. All right. Thank you. And uh, uh, Cameron, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but there are no uh, setback e or setback from property line issues with the uh, with the application as presented. No, I, I've made uh, a couple site visits out there, and there's no setback issues. Okay, and just so everyone understands where I'm pointing the cursor presently is the driveway. So this will be right here will be the access onto 421. Am I correct? Yes, sir. And we have secured a permit from NDOT for that driveway. Okay, so egress and uh, ingress and egress are not, not an issue. Uh, and you will have uh, adequate uh, public utilities access for uh, I suppose well, water should not be an issue, but uh, any sewage requirements or electric get power, et cetera, and gas. Is that correct? Yes, sir. All utilities are there on site that are needed. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, doo -doo -doo. And uh, Cameron, has there been any uh, 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 mail, emails, or letters, or et cetera, received in favor or against this, uh, this special exception? Uh, we did not get anything back that was uh, negative. Um, Gloria, did we got all the cards that went out we did get back, correct? Yes. And okay. about, we sent letters to property owners, adjoining property owners, we received information back. Okay. Uh, is there is there anyone on this uh, on this uh, video conference that is uh, wishes to speak in favor or against this? Just I'm just trying to designate whether before we go to the next section. Ann Cripe sent no comment. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay. So. Uh, um, Shane, is there any other information you'd like to provide us? Um, not at this time, sir. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to open the public hearing. Then uh, it's at, uh, according to my computer, about 7:33. Uh, is there anyone who wishes to speak in favor of this petition? Okay, is there anyone who wishes to speak in opposition to this petition? Okay, hearing no comments or does anyone have any on their computer screen, any indication of anyone for or against on this? No. Okay. All right, we'll call the public hearing closed at 7.34 and is there any Questions or discussion according uh, to the board. Uh, Steve? Um, I don't have any questions or discussion at this point for the board. Uh, Teresa? I have no questions or comments. Okay, so the next, uh, next question would be uh, how do we proceed? Uh, would be either to vote, uh, make someone make a motion in favor to proceed with the questions or to uh, uh, not proceed with the questions to deny the application for a special exception or the third option would be to table the uh, agenda item to the next meeting. So do I hear a motion? I move we proceed with the questions. I move second. we proceed with the questions. I second the motion. Okay. Uh, motion's made and seconded. Any discussion from the board? And then uh, here. All the questions. I'll call the question. Steve May, how vote yes or no? Yes. Uh, Teresa Maxwell, vote yes or no, please. Yes. Uh, Everett Snowberger, I'm voting yes. So the motion is carried. We are proceeding with the questions. Uh, the uh, Let me grab my book here so I can get it correct. 
the first item, and this is following the county ordinance, says before a special exception is, grant, is granted, the board shall find in A, that the special exception will not endanger the public health, safety, morals, comfort, or general welfare. So the motion would need to demonstrate that it would not generate or it would not uh, uh, endanger the public health, safety, morals, or general welfare. I move we grant the special exception as denying this exception will cause heartaches and hardships for the community of Delphi. I second that motion. Okay, motion's made by Teresa, seconded by Steve. Any discussion from the board? No. no. All in favor, sign oh, I can't do that. Sorry about that. Steve May, how, how should you vote? Yes, yes. or no? Yes. Okay, Teresa Maxwell. Yes. Okay, Everett Snowberger votes yes. So the, the motion carries. The second item is that the special exception will not be injurious to the use enjoyment of other property in the vicinity, nor diminish or impair property values within the neighborhood. Uh, the use and value of the area of the adjacent neighborhood will not be uh, affected in a substantially adverse manner because there's already a water tower there and uh, so visually it's not going to change this uh, area much and will uh, actually add to um, uh, being able to upkeep the other tower to make it even look better. I'll second that. Motion's made and seconded. Any discussion from the board? No. No. Hearing none. Steve May, how, sh how do you vote? Yes. Teresa Maxwell? Yes. Everett Snowberger votes yes. The motion carries. Uh, item C, that the special exception will not impede the normal, normal and orderly development and improvement of the surrounding property for uses permitted in the district. I move that we grant the spatial exception as this having a new water ground storage tank will improve the local homes and businesses of the area. A second. Motion's made and seconded. Any discussion from three sir Steve? No. no. Hearing none, call the question. Steve, how do you vote? Yes. Teresa, how do you vote? Yes. Yes. Everett Snowberger votes yes. Motion carries. Fourth one, that adequate utilities, access roads, drainage, and other necessary facilities have been or are being provided. I move we grant the special exception because the utilities are already in place, access roads and, and have been set up, and the drainage and other necessary facilities have been taken care of. Second. Motion's made and seconded. Uh, any discussion? No. Hearing none, call the question. Steve, how do you vote? Yes. Teresa? Yes. Everett Snowberger votes yes. Motion carries. The fifth and final issue is that ingress and egress points are so designed as to minimize traffic congestion 